Hello guys and girls, in this video we're going to be looking at this beautiful ring. This thing is actually marked 18 karat gold. And we'll take a look a little bit up close to see if we can see it. So it's just right there. Let's see, can you see the mark? It's just right there. Can you see the marking? It says 18 karat right there. 1 8 and letter K. So that stands for 18 karat gold or it's 75% um, uh, gold. So there you go. It's a beautiful ring. It's got some kind of a, I don't know, leaf or whatever, whatever sign this is. It's nice and shiny. So when I was buying it, actually, I kind of looked at it and I was, well, it doesn't look, the color doesn't make sense on it. So it looks like nine carats, like it's maybe 12, I would give it at the most. It's definitely did not look to me like 18 carat, but it is stamped. So I figured, you know what? Um, maybe it is, maybe it is real. So uh, one thing that was kind of puzzling to me, look at the size of the stamp. Uh, let's see look at the size of this it's very 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 small it's literally tiny so that's one giveaway that I, when I was looking at it I'm like that may not be real so we'll take a look closer now one thing uh, that I was very surprised to see let's just drop it on the stone and I'm gonna take my magnet with um, and the lands I have this lands and I have magnets powerful magnets on both sides watch this we're just gonna put it right here and it's gonna gently start pushing it towards the ring which is marked 18 karat gold <laughs> sorry I'm laughing it's just too funny so let's see what's gonna happen I'm gonna push magnets a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit and nothing happening right so looks like it's uh, not gold now let's try from this side sorry it looks like it is gold so <laughs> let's try from this side let's see what's gonna happen a little bit closer a little bit closer i like all this test sometimes they show it to you online and they're like oh look the ring is one millimeter away two millimeters away let's see what's gonna happen in this case oops look there we go so we got this uh, magnetized so let's just pull this uh, uh, uh the magnet back look at that our ring moves together so again the ring marked 18 karat let's take a look again sorry for being annoying about this because it's kind of important and look at that 18k on the ring uh for some reason it's not focusing why are you not focusing okay 18k right there putting it down taking the powerful magnet and look, we can pull it with the magnet easily. This is ridiculous. As a matter of fact, if I were to apply the, uh, if I were to just hold it like this, right? You just connect it. This magnet literally holds the ring. Look at this. If you shake it, it falls off. That's enough to hold it. So that's how powerful the magnet is. And that's how fake, <laughs> and that's how fake this ring is, which is ridiculous. But anyway, there we go. So the interesting part about this is that obviously it is fake or maybe it's gold filled. Uh, maybe it's gold, whatever roll doesn't really matter. But this is pretty heavy ring. I would say that this ring probably well, why don't we uh, weigh it and see okay so i got here my super fancy schmancy uh weighing scale so i'm just kidding it's not fancy schmancy it's just simple scale i bought it on amazon for like i don't know uh, 20 bucks probably or something like that so there we go our scale says zero 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 we're gonna take our super fake ring and let's weigh it let's see what's gonna happen Ooh, interesting so looks like we have almost 12.3 grams 12.4 almost grams of gold so that's that's a heavy that's a heavy um uh, definitely a heavy um uh, gold ring so uh when i was buying it i was like oh wow that's amazing um very heavy feels very nice trust me you put it on your finger you feel it you move your hand so let's say it goes in your finger whichever finger and then you know you move your hand you feel the weight of this ring you're definitely gonna feel it so yeah so there we go we have very beautiful fake at 12 grams so we'll get to the point where we're gonna test it but just for now let's get our fancy scale out and let's make what let's make a couple of markings so usually on the ring i would want to do maybe well minimum two but i would do in this particular case well, let's do four so we'll do like the bottom piece here we'll do the top for sure 
and then we'll do the sides as well. The reason you want to do the top, a lot of people avoid testing the top, right? And you know, like this, this, this part right here, this part they will not test. And the reason they will not test it because like, oh, we're going to scratch it. We can edit this and that. Well, uh, from my practice, I'd rather scratch it than buy fake. So I definitely going to be testing this. And when I'm buying jewelry, I'm always telling the seller that, hey, I'm going to be testing the whole ring in multiple places. I'm not just going to be testing the bottom or the sides. It's going to be tested so you know if you want to avoid damage to your ring if you want to avoid um any kind of scratches right like anything at all uh, then i'm gonna say you know what forget it I, you know i'm not i'm not touching it i'm not buying it but if they agree and they say yeah i understand you gotta you know file it you gotta scratch it you gotta do whatever you gotta do even if you have to put acid on it then then you have to put acid whatever it is right it's real thing and if it's real thing well, you're not really hurting it. Um, but if it's fake, well, in that case, you know what's going to happen. So anyway, so um, yeah, so let's go ahead and make a few marks and see what's going to happen. We'll just go maybe in this area right here in the middle. So let's do our first mark here. Oh, that looks nice. It's coming through as real gold. Look at that. Nice and shiny. So that was just this side here. All right, let's do maybe this side here. Okay. In reality, you don't have to do this much. I'm just doing it for the video so you can actually see a big fat mark. In reality, you just do like, you know, you slide it two times. So let's see if I can try to do it. So you slide it like once, twice, three, four, maybe like four times or five times, whatever it was like, there you go. So that's just that, that's, that's really enough. But for our testing, let's just, plus we know it's fake. So let's just hammer it away. There we go, ton of gold. And now let's do this shank here. So maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do like this part here, right here, uh, just the very top here. So let's just do one of the corners here. All right, there we go. Okay, so one thing that's good with this fake is that at least it's pretty consistent color. So we do see that the color across is fairly consistent. I could say this one a little bit maybe um, brighter. These two are brighter. These two are not as bright. Well, anyway, so it's 18K. So let's do our 18K gold asset. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I know what's going to happen, but you know, uh, we have to do it for the video, right? So it's going to be very interesting and very educational. And by the way, the message to the people that buy just based on the stamp. Well, <sighs> I mean, I've said it a billion times. I'll say it, um, you know, a trillion times. Uh, you know, I'll say it one more time. Don't buy <laughs> items without testing. A lot of times, even if you think that this is not, uh, even if you think that this is not a complete fake, this could be undercarated, right? A lot of times, uh, I mean, I'm seeing it again and again and again and again, undercarated pieces where you pay somebody for 18 carat and it turns out to be 16 carat. 16 and a half carats, 17 carats, 17.5, but it's not 18 carats. I never seen over carated, <laughs> you know, over carated pieces because, well, that would be ridiculous, right? Like nobody wants to give out more gold than they have to, but under carated, like every single day, you know, left and right, everyone will try to screw you. So just keep that in mind. That's going to happen all the time, especially we see it with a lot of international pieces, not the pieces from China, especially the pieces made for Chinese internal market, which is stamped not with 18k but with chinese characters those are going to be like on the dot i mean i have seen a lot of those i have a few rings myself i think i showed one in the video and those are you know like down to maybe two percent maybe down to three percent they're very very accurate or you know as accurate as they can be but there's so many as a fakes it's ridiculous okay anyway enough talking let's just do this test real quick so we'll do four drops so drop number one Drop number two, number three, and number four. And of course, you can see it, it's just like whatever. It's just not even, like nothing's happening. It just completely disappeared. First one disappeared, second one floating around, third one is kind of half missing, and the last one is all over the map, so. Well, anyway. So that's that's the that's the stone. That's sorry, that's the stone. That's that's the that's the ring. That's you know that's the amazing ring um, that you can buy. Look at this thing again. So again, when somebody trying to sell you something like this, be aware. Don't fall for this garbage. Don't fall for the weight, uh, and don't you know don't don't waste your you know your money, energy, time on this garbage. That's just that's just complete garbage. So don't definitely don't uh, 
you know don't uh, don't fall for this well anyway thanks for watching I, I i you know appreciate the time if you like the video give it a like uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this subscribe to the channel i'll talk to you in the next one bye